Week 3 of the CDL Major 2 qualifiers has wrapped up. And man, did we save the best for last. We're talking about Optic Texas going head-to-head -head against Toronto Ultra. This showdown was pure fire. We saw some insane action on Rio Hardpoint and Search and Destroy Masterclass performances along with Shotzi, breaking not one, but two CDL records. The plays were straight up nasty, and the reactions? Hilarious. So buckle up, because we're about to break down every epic moment from this Juggernaut series. Let's dive in. Waiting for his next kill. Significantly outnumbered so far. Can Ultra find a few more? Oh, unfortunate back and forth. Absolute bloody pandemonium here on the outside of Rio. Lovely shot from Scrap. 12 and 8 as he puts Dashi in the dirt. Yeah, that's like the extra lethal threat that you have when one of your main AR players can rock an SMG and thrive like he has. I mean, he's putting up the Kleenex numbers, so Scrap, you know, the case for MVP, always going to be there. Right now, cutting off Optic from making their way towards the hill, and the cutoff should pan out. You expect the trades to exist. Insight going to deliver. Pred, last man standing, though. Yeah, absolute non-stop chaos. Now, as hot as the game may seem, I know one thing that won't be that crazy, and that's the comms of Toronto Ultra. Pred still right? Do we kill him? Yeah, yeah, uh, close, close, close. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm holding. Promise you, promise you, Toby. Check it, trophy tail. Don't see him. He's left. Still don't, he don't see him. Close up, close up. One's, uh, I'm gonna die here. Actually, that's top. Still don't see him. Hop, hop, hop. And then security, security. Hop, hop. Nice, security. Hop, hop. Two. On time and that cat. Uh, that's in pinch. Check out time. Do on time. You, uh, you don't need to. You on right side time. No, push that whale. Oh, good. Then they are my whale. Whale, armor got me. Just go on, uh, chop. Close up. Weak, 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 weak in. I'll be like, caution, caution steps. I've slipped, I've slipped. I caution cat, left side, cast both slipped, both slipped. We'll play for all. Red's cast steps. Two, two you chilling me. In... Okay. Go in sharp, two, Shotzi. Hold new, hold new. Yeah, one's already in the right here on me. I spawn, I spawn, Calf. Yeah, Grab I spawn you. One, sh security, one shoot, give me a sec, bro. You dead, that's nice the guy with streaks. Could be in the security, by the way. Shot, yeah, no, already shot, already shot. Nice, last one, let's go. Yeah, I'm Eskies right now. Okay, guys, trust me. I'll get your shot. I'll see this guy hold. Hold, dead. Watch cross guys now. I wrap front. Okay. I'm sure you, can you can you wrap over? I'm gonna die to an ace. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's close. Close ramp. Yeah. I, ramp. I didn't see anything ramp. I have to like back up. Charge drop in for a second. Go gate. I wrap you ramp. Another one, two hop up off the shot. As ever, Toronto Ultra now to the other side of the stage as Optic Texas managing to slowly but surely pull this one back. Now for a quick listen in. One shot, scrap. I'll tell. Throw shit, throw shit, throw shit. It's behind him, it's behind him. Okay, we got one point time. 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 Got one point I'm full 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 he hit the deep right then. I'm holding him. Hold left, hold left, P5. One, two. I'm holding mid. I have all there. I got one. Hold him mid. Nice. I'm holding him. I'm holding One con, one con in mid. Top mid and con. He's shouting left. Doesn't get a mount for anything. Dashy gets one. Trade it out. Ultra still with a contest. Can he keep the play alive? Optic with the break. And they got the spawns for new as well. So if you continue this gameplay, if you keep the pressure on them, and you make sure you maybe even block those right side spawns. Again, a situation where Optic are just reading and preparing for the worst, but it's the square up, it is the break, it is Ultra getting the first two kills, but they've yet to get that time. Still thinking about the rotation as well. That was a big win, and that's it. Ultra are in. Can't get the win here on the map, but they put themselves dangerously close. Optic already looking towards new. Scrap's gone on a big rotate. Oh, what a win against Kenny. The backline is now open a war on two fronts. Kleenex taken care of as Optic dig in. 
And he got inside flanking too. So you got every member on optic with their head on a swivel. Scrap hand patient because his teammates are going for the break. He's going to get his third on this life. And you're keeping optic off the time. Oh. And he's still getting the kills looking for the new. Looking for the new Envoy in. Time going to Ultra. Optic have got to find it again. And it's Shotzi. The late break holds it down. You've got an open angle now. War in one front. Scrap destroys Shotzi. The hard point open again. But nobody close enough to get the time. Nades from Scrap. Endless onslaught here as the barrage continues. Scrap head down. Five for the win. Can he stay alive? His boys have got the kills. Kleenex drives them back. And map one is done. Oh my god, yeah, Just that yeah. little bit extra from Toronto Ultra. The game flow will show you that. But before we get that to the stats, 36, 36 <laughs> from Scrap, sweet child of mine. Your boy was frying. It's 27 non-traded. One of the things I wanted to sort of bring up, Chance, from an individual perspective, just the does get traded out. Kashasi loves the top red avenue. But now just about that being colossal pain. Do you read on the inside does, but he's a little bit fearful, as you should be. Shotzi able to get that next kill. Man advantage from Optic. The dance doesn't last for long, though. Odds even. Optic towards mid. It's looking like a B hit overall. Pred, those players did not go past him. He's still carrying the bomb as well. So Pred, oh dear, Envoy. Maybe more than his spidey sense is tingling, but he doesn't actually see Pred get the plant down. He'll kick himself, but only for a moment in this 2v2. You expect he one went to bridge, other guy MIA. Not the best smoker. Maybe the smoke just to get out towards bridge. Awkward moment. They're going to hunt down Pred. You at least have to get this trade. You set yourself up for the 1v1, but they have no intel on Dashy. Dashy. Oh. Nearly spied out. The reach out. Big Bruce. Lightning on the second attempt. Envoy simply not able to handle that kind of gunfight. We will see Dashy's POV for that final kill. A very, very strong showing. No problem for Big Bruce. Two on the round. Uh, that's the that. That's the damage dealt insight. Cleans it up. First blood, Toronto. That is wonderful teamwork as well. Shooting a guy jumping over like that. Now you got Shotzi on the flip side, though. Making the other play. So again, the route men on point. Shotzi, this is the oh. part where he is a colossal pain in the ass. You lose track of him. He can be anywhere, like right above you. So difficult to contain. We can see the routes he takes. We get to peek behind the magician's curtain. With the bomb planted now, Ultra have got to make a move. And Kleenex is on it! Kleenex has dived right under the defuse! Will Optic check it? Kenny! He checks it just in the nick of time! Damage dealt now from Envoy. He has to spring to life. 1v3 as Kleenex nearly won the round! But Optic Texas as Kenny. What? a intuitive play to just check that bomb at that right time. He cannot believe it. Uh, I, I don't know about intuitive. That's just Kenny learning from mistakes. I remember the start of the year on this map where they didn't check the bomb until... Well, we're going to see this round. The team shots have been very good. Great heads up play. That stun's going to land. A little bit of information here in the Envoy. The bomb carrier. Soon to be the man who delivers the bomb nowhere. Nice bit of work there from Kenny. Slides on through the smoke. Can he get a kill out of this situation? Maybe. Spots plenty. Big win. The second. Kenny gets it. That's an outstanding run so far. No streaks, but that's basically the round. Well, Dash is getting active, though. It is a 2v2. And if you try to plant this bomb, you might get caught on some bad timing because Pred has maybe a small amount of information on the cross, but Dash has pushed you out so far. He has to be telling Pred they're working through our spawn or they're trapped in P2. The patient's on point and he gets out with his life. Dashy making plays all over yeah, but the... But there are chickens on this side of the map. Let's find out. Who clucks first? It looks like Dashy, but the trades have gone the way of Ultra. They've just like swarmed as well. I mean, those players absolutely disappearing. Pred though, able to get active and catch one. But in the meantime, Scrap, I think, is going to hunt him down. Oh. And he just gets gunned. Oh my word. The Rival 9, what a gun. Let me tell you. Let's get a player cam react from that fight. Scrap, not impressed. Kleenex now 1v2. Pred. Bang! Optic Texas with a dagger round. That was the confidence killer. Look at the smiles on those boys. Yeah, he's blowing them away on that one. That's just, uh, I don't know. Them's be the break sometimes. The Rival 9, absolute shotgun in that moment. Scrap makes the perfect play. That is not a player that misses very often, and I don't think he did. Pred just had the sauce, and yeah, you'll see the reaction too. What? Just confusion, <laughs> elation. Yeah, Search and destroy this year. Toronto Ultra 
They found themselves on both sides. They have indeed. Well, you're about to find all four members of Toronto Ultra here by the B bomb site. Pred, I don't know how many red dots he saw on that minimap, but I tell you what, it's looking deadly. Lovely shots. Insight can't keep up with him. One more kill gets Pred a cruise missile, which in this round is basically it. Can he get another? Shots, his first blood helps out. Oh, sugar. <laughs> he forced the team count. kill. Did his job, yeah. <laughs> kind of counts. Insight now will be three to stay alive on the map. Jamie Craven, the king of clutch. Get it done. Shots eat wonderful damage. Not enough to get the kill, but plenty to make him move. Optic are holding hands. You will not be fighting one at a time, unless by some stroke of magic. I mean, there's just simply no way, right? I mean, bomb downs over toward B, 35 seconds to work with. You're going to have to guns just straight up at least two different players, if not all three. And nobody's giving away any freebies. Kenny just going to be throwing shoulders. You already got the intel playing his life as well. You get time to flank. This is going to be a goose egg. This is Optic dominating Toronto Ultra on one of their best maps. I was going to say, 15 seconds to go. There is no way. He's running to the very much the wrong part of town. It's all green. Like Karachi a... and for Optic Texas fans, got to be happy with that S&D performance. There is literally nothing you could possibly complain about First much blood easier, and Scrap is over here taking routes. He doesn't have much team support right now, but every kill he gets is going to soften the blow. Or Shotzi might have the timing on the flank. No one's going to turn. Couple tags coming through. There's number one, and he's doing his job just by staying alive. Straight on the eyes towards the spawners as well. Oh, come on. Shotzi's playing real good tonight. Nice tags. There's the damage from the rest of the boys as the reinforcements arrive. The cavalry is certainly here. The shots he is still in Pinch City and somehow is evading danger. I don't have a clue as to how he has managed to survive this situation for so long. B is still in danger, but Shotzi has done everything humanly possible to save it. Well, that's on one side of the map. On the other, Insight has just made his way to the A zone. He's got Kleenex as the cutoff man. So Shotzi's spree is fantastic. He's got a cruise that is great long term, but in the immediacy, Optic need to get these players off of A. Shotzi's still the cutoff man, but no one else on his team is repositioned. Shotzi versus the world. Can his teammates get inside off the point? Thank you. They did give away an extra tick in the meantime, but if you keep them off B, this is a beautiful, a gorgeous round right now from Optic. We're going to stay on board with Shotzi until this life comes to a close, I'm pretty sure, because my good God, what a round of control this young man is having. Cruz there, 15 seconds to go. He could call it in and possibly save that zone. It comes down to Pred. Can he win a gunfight against three? He gets oh, two! Wow, yeah. Pred gets two! He can't get the third, but here comes Shotzi, 10 in a row, looking for the 11th! That's the round! You may never see one like it. Damn! Lupe Fiasco, many years ago, wrote a song about this man. Good God. I mean, it quite literally doesn't get better. There was a moment where his team maybe wanted to be a little bit quicker to reposition over to A, but Shotzi does such a good job of picking apart the spawners before he even turns to He's fluid and as exciting as Optic Texas were there. Wonderful wonderful start to this invasion control my goodness we're still on board with shotzi because he hasn't died yet that's 12 now the second cruise castro the second cruise he's got two of them there we go he's going straight to the spawn the time he might not be working out from here i take it all back he's got another can he find on the kill that cruise straight away middle of the map still being held on he's in sight at range man alive he's shooting straight right now Jamie Craven keeping it all composed. Here comes the next attack from Optic. They've made it through the old B zone. That side of the map's all theirs. Stun check, but no one's actually going to make this hit, or will they? Because they've all gone back. <laughs> He's at the tank. He gets uh, Okay, dude. What? He's, I mean, uh, like, what? How does it happen? Find a moment to actually make that investment, but you never know about a pop-off play. Good timing on the side from Kenny. He gets the best to scrap. Envoy, 2-11, looking for his third kill. He's going to get double challenged. Good damage. He gets at least one, but here comes the flank. Here comes Shotzi, oh. and you know he's going to win it. He's forcing out the deep spawns. He's getting his boy over towards time. I don't know if they have a trophy. They're going to have to dodge some nades, but the nades are coming through as Shotzi is eviscerating you. 4.9 seconds on the clock. No option for a stack just yet. Shotzi's got to find the kills. That's it. The kills are done. Stack it. Optic, get in the damn robot, Shinji. Dive onto that point. The second segment long gone. This could be the most unbelievable turnaround. They've managed to pull it away. Ultra, fly. No hope. What a round. I mean, what, the, what more do you want this man to do? 
He can't do it. This is the best control performance we could have possibly have. He's blowing away some of the best players in the game. I mean, there ain't going to be a kill record that you're just not going to be able to go to round five. In the meantime, by the way, Scrap has 21 as well. So it is certainly a battle in the kills department. But shots the man impossible to weed out. Ultra, you're able to get a decent amount of map control. But as soon as they get to the 50 yard line, they are getting completely shut down. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's corner to corner close quarters battle here. On invasion, very, very little long range gunfights outside of what we've just seen. And everyone from Ultra do what they can to find these kills decisively. Preds on a massive flank right now. He's about to get himself a couple. Slowing down the hit from Ultra as they are just unable to really get the ball rolling. Unable to find that momentum. Optic still holding it together. He's got the right gun for the job too. Dash is going to be calling out there's 2A Street. The shots he want to flank or does he want to wrap back and help his teammate when this happens? He's going to wrap back. Again, the call out's coming through from Bruce. But playing so smart as well and so patient. But everybody's grouped up. Everybody's right here. This is the big hit. Ultra to get the first blood. Find a few more kills here and you're laughing. That could be it. We could be now onto the point. Dashi's got to do something absolutely unbelievable here and take down many members of the Toronto Ultra roster. Two of them on the inside. Dashi goes for the slide. They can get the win right here. Big Bruce finds one. Somehow manages to get in. The reinforcements have arrived. Pred takes care of insight and the defense has held. The cruise is here. There's 20 seconds to go. That's the stamp on the game to three players out completely exposed he only picks up one but it is the funnel system optic easy gun fights but that is a master class performance and if these two teams meet at the major i would be shocked if ultra run invasion back again slapped a lot of yapping just for like the the sake of it in a sense but i think maybe the most telling thing was an interview shots he had a few weeks ago where he was just talking about because it's skid row let's find out what happened boys and girls in a p1 it's good side skid row too and the opening break honestly might have been the difference maker on rio here's the opening break shots surprise surprise gets the first blood more shocking revelations pred on the yeah. flank daggering you off the jump ultra bad spawns tough spot to be in you are already got to be worried about streaks maybe good news you can rotate over towards p2 an opportunity to at least be a nuisance envoy being forced to try to make the big play can't quite deliver it certainly makes an impact but at the time optic again you got enough time on p1 that you're allowed to stay ahead of the rotation game set up on p3 and potentially just go ahead and retake that lead here it comes envoy gets it done finally contest oh wow Four down for oh, away you don't want to be going there. Rotation now towards that barbershop. Envoy trying to get involved. Dashy on the god steps. Yeah, now inside still playing his life. This will be P3 or P4, excuse me, get a pop. He still hasn't died. Talk about the longest life. This is a three minutes straight. He's got the cruise missile. He's blocking the back spawns inside, trying to set his teammates up for success. A four man stack at the back side of the top. Yep, we go to the boys through the front. Nays there, an exchange of gunfire on the inside. It's a very, very close space to be battling in. Looks around, nobody home. That's fine. Envoy pushes out. Can he get another here? As the break is there for Ultra, they've got to dig in now and try to deal with the counterattack. As Optic's still very close. Tunnel, steps, you name it. From the hip, Shotzi walks away with it, but the win is done and Ultra are back in command. Yeah, now they got to read the spawns to the right. Three players in the back, and as soon as you ask for them to read it, everybody turns around in sight. There's number seven trying to keep him at bay. He's finally going to fall, but on the rotation. Once again, Kleenex. Working overtime here on Skid Row. Ooh, big gunfight tunnel too. Ends up going the way of Kleenex. Predge is not ready in that moment. Kleenex though, maybe a bit too quick on the jump. Insight couldn't quite rip him out. If there's any opportunity for Optic to get back in this game, this is how Skid Row plays out. It is just chain the money hills together. You are down by 100, a full 60 though, and you can make it a competition. If Ultra though, if they get the break, they will win the game. There we go. Ultra trying to get the break so far. The money kill is in USD. No currency conversion just yet. 45 seconds to go, though. A little bit of time to get it done, as Ultra will not be winning it here, even if they get the break in the next few moments. But doing what they can to keep that pressure on. But not when Dashi is shooting like this. 
I, it's like a different game when you're playing against i mean there's a lot of pro players that have a shot like that but dashi especially that there are just certain things you can't do on the map that's a moment where i think you get up to the crease 99 out of 100 times but bruce Gonna be the man that stamps it. These are the big gunfights to win, by the way, but it's Kenny from down low that helps him out. So there you go. The full 60 optic was looking for it. They are able to secure it. The opportunity to get back in this game very much alive. On the rotation, though, Toronto Ultra gonna be holding the back spawns. They're gonna be Players towards for Toronto. We're nearby, and any kill they get from Optic is just getting traded. And if they don't get the trades, you get the deepest spawn. And unfortunate right now from Optic, not only do they have to rotate, which there's no time to do, you have to flood into where the time is now. You're not gonna be able to get it done. And you talk about a bounce back game, Ultra absolutely throttling Optic on Skid Row. That late spawn, not gonna come in time. Or maybe the 249. Ruin the final call, why don't you? <laughs> well, there you go. Game five. We wouldn't have it any other way. There you go. We get the stats for this one in sight. Maybe a little bit shoes up, comfortable the whole way through. But Again, decisions now. How do we take back that plane? Try to get that bomb down over towards A. Gunfight over by B. Slows down Dashi. Now the mind games continue. Yeah, Envoy trying to disrupt the timing after you clear out the cockpit. Maybe that's when you slide in. So that's why he's chucking out the nade. But you know the plane hit's coming. You know it's going to happen. And it's Fred that gets that first blood. And they got the pressure down low. And Shotzi is already hunting you down in your own spawn. Scrap can't make the play. Fred is gunning players left and right. Maybe a slight mechanical error there from Kleenex. Can't quite hop the box. Insight now. Takes one. Tagged up. Takes his time. He's got 40 seconds to play. Optic that the is first. not going to last long. Yeah, that <laughs> is an absurd He's round. waiting for a player to take the bait. Can Pred keep the spree going? As we are running out of time in this round. Those two members of Ultra. Here they go. Envoy eats it. Four in a row for Pred. Drops down immediately, and if anybody wants to drop down to trade Pred, shots, he's also waiting in the wings. You get the plane cross covered, you get two players down low, and you got a man advantage. This is looking like a gorgeous round from Optic. Things like that as well. Seemingly nothing can go wrong for Optic. Wonderful coverage there from Scrap. And Pred's still alive out here. 15 seconds on the clock. Time this right, and he's got himself streaks. And the round. Insight's been taken care of as well now, all down to scrap. It's first come, first serve. Ugh, it's an awkward lineup there, and I do think Pred got the kill in the end. He's one away from streaks. That's just another, I mean, again, gorgeous round. Pred does everything right, gets the first blood. Really quite literally playing like a predator, just picks his spot and just waits for the kill to fall into his... Nearly every round has been so slow in the opening break so far. Not a lot of opening action. Both teams doing a very, very good job of feeding each other out. Nice nade. There it is. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, I was going to say, you could see everybody trying to line it up, and Kleenex going to be on the bitter end of that one. Kenny gets active in the meantime, and another cold, incalculated round here from Optic. And Shotzi freebies for him. This is as good as it gets. This is going to be nine rounds in a row from Optic against Ronald Ultra. All on his lonesome now, Scrap. Oh, my friends are dead. And the bomb's been planted at B. That should be it, those tags. He's not going to be able to challenge Dashy. Here come the members of Optic. Hunt him down in the round. Although, there it is. The trade's complete. Nine rounds in a row. I, there's not even a, a moral victory hill or here rather scrap might get an extra kill before he falls but that was a hopeless round that is perfect made coordination coming out the start it was a semtex for whatever player is playing inside of dreams but also the nade from shotzi again just perfectly coordinated that duo right there absolutely perfect and again Troy in a row against what we might have to say was formerly the best team in the world because right now a lot of teams are getting active oh, very indeed Trades Kenny. Oh, fights too. Pred into the fight. Last man up. Envoy. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Clean. As the writing is on the green wall, these boys are absolutely running ultra over. Don't want to deal with Shotzi by the plane. Have fun dealing with Kenny over Barely by count. 
Consolation kills all members of Optic. They've got priority boarding and they've got the plane. They're in. Massive damage. Kenny walks away with the first blood. They know on boys at the backside. They're set up here for this one. Just over a minute to go. Should be able to plant that bomb any second now, but they are waiting for the counterattack from Ultra. Well, Pred's got the hallway. You got Dashy looking for the flank, and the other two doubled up in the plane. So if you try to make the move, someone's going to catch it. Pred able to get it. And now a four versus two with so much time. Optic simply not making any mistakes. Oh, not at all. Oh, Pred. Bit of awkward timing. That player may be able to get behind them. Dashy, though, no problem whatsoever. Take care of its sight. And it is an immaculate round from Optic Texas once again. I can destroys have gone so far. You are rubbing your hands together if you're an Optic fan. Ultra, though, a sign of life. Snuffed! <laughs> okay. By Shotzi. And he's gone. Optic's ghost. He is uncatchable. He might be able to get another hit. Oh, it was close. Those are clean shots, but still a two versus two. Shotzi did get the intel that someone dipped out the back of the plane, and obviously they know about Insight, but Insight's going to be dealing with two different players, Pred and Kenny. Maybe just waiting for their moment, or maybe Scrap in the meantime actually finds the pig. That's from downrange. Those are good shots, but this oh is Pred's opportunity to clutch and dagger them with the double 6-0. And this was the worry. The mid-game adjustment, they didn't quite have it. Scrap's now on the flank. The timing of this one. Wait, I don't believe it. Damage. Scrap's out. Pred holds his irons. Will he chow this? Ultra, stay alive. And that is all it takes. Just a <laughs> massive clutch with Scrap winning two huge gunfights. And that um, is... Once again, clock still taking 40 to go. Very difficult to be comfortable in these moments. You do have Dashi in prime position to get a freebie. There it is. Even up the odds. Three versus three. The B site much more open now than it was before. And Scrap, if he wants to make the play, might be jumping straight into Kenny. But Scrap not getting active just yet. But even with the way this round started, Optic, this is incredibly clutchable. They're very capable of getting this one done. Ultra now scrambling to find the approach towards the bomb site. Kleenex, the closest man. Shoulders thrown. Doesn't see anything. Commits. Dashi gets them both. The last man. Scrap. Can Bruce find another one on the round? No, nope, Scrap gets it. And Pred puts in the bed. Optic Texas with an absolutely disgusting display in Search and Destroy. They win the game five. And not that I'm going to ever doubt Optic's confidence to begin with, but if they weren't before, they are certainly infinitely more confident now going.